I found the best note taking app ever and it actually got me off of Apple Notes. Dun dun dun. What's up guys? My name is Sarah Dichi Rhymes with Peachy. If you're new around here today, we're talking about OneNote because it's really the best multi-platform note taking app and it's so powerful. iPad Windows 2-on-1, iPhone, we're gonna talk about all of it. Thank you so much to Warby Parker for sponsoring this video. This is their five glasses try-on kit where you can try on five frames for free, no obligation. I'm such a big fan of Warby Parker, so we're gonna unbox those in a minute. And there's definitely some, some really old videos of me from 2014, 2015, rocking my Warby Parker glasses. I'm a fan. <laughs> Okay, so here is one note. As you can see, I've actually been getting some use out of it. I'm still yet to transfer some of the notes I need from my Apple Notes, but I wanted to test it out before. And the biggest pain point was all of these note-taking apps are great for the iOS ecosystem, but the moment you go over to a Windows laptop, a two-in-one, and you pull out your fancy pen, yes, that's right, Two-in-ones are great for note-taking, they're great for tablet use. A lot of these apps are just non-existent on this platform. Um, everyone knows and loves Notability. I did all of my college notes on this, but it's good for iOS, it's not on Windows. And so what's so intriguing about OneNote is yes, it's made by Microsoft, it's a Microsoft app, but they came in here and they made one of the best iPad note-taking apps ever. So of course all of this syncs in the cloud, right? Um, it's for free, you just link it up to your OneDrive. I'm pretty sure you get an initial five gigs free, but what you will learn is a lot of the features that blow your mind well, you're gonna have to subscribe to the $6.99 a month Office 365, but we'll get to that in a minute. Let's just go over aesthetics in general. Um, and what's nice is, again, this syncs with one notebook across your devices. So everything is synced with iPhone, iPad, two-on-one, PC, anywhere you go, you can access via the web, and it just looks great no matter uh, where where you use it. This is the latest normal iPad, so $329 with the first gen Apple Pencil. So this pencil isn't my favorite because it doesn't have any buttons or anything. I love my two-in-one pen because there's a total of three uh, where it makes note-taking and using the pen super fun and easy. With the Apple Pencil, you can really get precise. It's a great feel, and the fact uh, that again, Microsoft paid attention to make a really nice iPad app. And before we go to the two-in-one and I really break it down for you, I'll just show it to you briefly on the iPhone. So you can create different notebooks for different things, but I just have one that is synced across the cloud. I have my different sections. We can just go to quick notes. And this is the note that I was just on. And you see, I have a lot of different media, a lot of different things going on. And we'll get to that in a minute. And then we have all of the crazy writing that I literally just wrote so it instantly updates it and guys a little life hack if you're in between a Windows computer and iPhone or you got to transfer stuff in between Mac OS and Windows somehow you know with a phone or what have you I'm literally using this as airdrop when I'm at home and I need something on my iMac from this computer this Windows 2 in one I'll literally just drop the screenshot into OneNote and I have that on my iMac and it instantly updates and so it's a little it's like a little hack if two-in-ones are foreign or Windows, I mean, it's a lot of fun. You can do window snapping in this uh, setup to where you can snap your notes over here and then you can have a sauna open over here or you can have web, you can open up, let's do Twitter and then let's just add a page and okay, it's time to take some Twitter notes there we go this isn't a real scenario but you can see how this would actually be super helpful the window snapping the touch oh i just love it so this is the dell xps 13 2-in-1 what's great about this new pen is you know it's super precise and great um, but the buttons so if you hold down the first one that allows you to just delete if you hold down the second button, you can select the text and do some really cool stuff like ink to text, where look at that, it almost got it right. Almost got it, it was so close. Twitter notes, not Twitter note comma, come on. But that's pretty cool, right? So you could have handwritten notes and then at the end, highlight it, ink to text, and boom send that off to a friend or something. And then there's a button on the top. When you click once, it'll screenshot this and 
Oh, it's, uh, what side do I want? This side. And look, I just took a screenshot of the screen and you could go ahead and mark up. You're like, yes, this right here, that, yep. And then you could just send it off. You could, you can email it to someone. Double tap opens up whiteboard, which is just a very fun, like no consequences whiteboard. So if someone was just like, oh, I just gotta get out my thoughts. Like I don't want them to touch my note taking app, right? Um, but it's like, great, okay, here's a whiteboard. Tell me what you're thinking, Bob and you can just write away. And then holding it down brings up OneNote. Love it, oh. All right, so you've seen some of the two-in-one magic. I feel like it is a secret that only I know and other people don't know, even though it's been out for what, so long. Um, I'm just kind of obsessed with my XPS 13 recently. I'm going to show you why OneNote is so crazy for students, students out there who are in school, who are doing math. Do you hate math? Do you need help on your math? Well, I'm about to show you why this is such a big deal. Okay, anyone remember algebra solving for X? I do. I actually enjoyed algebra. Yeah, I was a psycho like that. I'm just gonna bring you through a little lesson. How do we solve for X? Okay, well, we find a common denominator and that's six. So we're gonna multiply that. We're gonna multiply so both sides So that cancels by out, six. so that's is three equal to X. one. And you that's five by it. five, so it's equal to one. But hey, maybe you don't wanna do that work or you wanna check your work. Oh, ho ho. All right, well, I'm just gonna select this. You know, I'm pressing the second button for selection. So I'm gonna go over to math and we're gonna select an action. We're gonna say solve for X. It didn't even flinch and it just says one fifth. So I checked my work, I'm right. Wow, oh, it doesn't, just stop there. How about we show the steps? And it brings you through the reasoning. I don't know if this makes math pointless or if this makes parents pointless because you don't need any of them anymore. I mean, for like help with math homework. I guess you need parents for like, you know, life and stuff, I'm sorry. So this math option is actually only available through the Office 365 subscription, that's $6.99 a month. At first I was like, what? I don't wanna sign up for another monthly subscription, but holy smokes, it's kind of worth it. And there's so much more that you can do with OneNote after we unbox the Warby Parker glasses because you guys don't know this, but I've actually been blind the entire time. Here is my try-on kit. Thank you so much, Warby Parker, for sponsoring this video. I'm such a big fan of the glasses, so you can get five pairs to try on. They start at $95, and then you have five days to try them on, figure out what you like the best, and you can keep as many as you want and send back the ones that you don't. Free shipping, and you don't pay anything up front. Wow, this is so pretty. They stepped up their packaging. This is very impressive. We got a little handbook. Looks like a little newspaper. This is so beautiful. I'm grateful in New York there are many Warby Parker locations because they do free adjustments on the glasses. And they also include a return label so you don't have to pay for it. Okay, oh, this is so exciting. This is turning into like a glasses try on video. Oh, you thought you were coming here for notes? Nope. You're gonna help Sarah Peachy find her new glasses. Okay, glasses one. You can vote which ones you like best. <gasps> These are cute. They match my outfit. Okay, number two. Here we go, y'all. Ooh. Option number three. Okay, so I've never thought that I could rock gray glasses, but this might be the first. What do you guys think? Ooh, cute. This is like a, like a bluish green tint. I like. Do I look studious? Do I look like I'm gonna be writing some notes in one note? Ooh, watch out. We got some two tones. We got some two tones in the house. Two tone city. Ooh, I like these. Okay guys, vote. What's your favorite? They have a huge selection on their website, including sunglasses, and you can take their Warby Parker quiz online and try them on virtually. The glasses include an anti-glare and scratch coating, and Warby Parker is actually adventuring beyond glasses and now makes contacts. Welcome to the world Scout by Warby Parker. They're breathable, they're comfortable, they're not gonna dry out. And you can wear Scout by Warby Parker contacts lenses for less than $1.25 a day. Just like Liza used to say, a dollar?
order your free home try-on program, or request a six-day trial of the Scout contacts lenses for only $5. So you can go to warbyparker.com slash saradici, that's me, to start today. Click the link, do it. Back to the notes. Okay, well, thank goodness we're looking a little bit more studious because it's time to help out you students even more. Um, I'm, I'm not jealous that you guys are taking algebra right now, taking calculus. I'm not, but it's a fact of life, unfortunately. So I'm gonna help you research with your research papers. Oh my gosh, it's not just math, but it's also research. So let's say we're researching Winston Churchill. We're writing a paper. We have to do the ABA citing or the whatever they're calling it now. You know where you have to cite your papers and cite your sources? Well, OneNote helps with that. So we already have some initial research right here and I'll show you how I got there. So say, let's see, Winston Churchill, I wanna hit the insert researcher and it's powered by Bing, which again, isn't like my search engine of choice. However, this gets really specific with credible sources. So it's pulling from places that you actually wanna see from journals. So I'm just gonna say Winston Church Hill. So his bio pops up and you can just press the plus button and it'll pop up right here. That's what I've already done. And it'll include the source. You can narrow it down by all of the search results um, or the journals, websites. If I click on a journal article right here and then say, add this source as a citation, it'll automatically do the citation for you right there. It gives you the title, a little bit of the run through, and then you can open the, the full article in your browser. So I've never gotten open and reading view to actually work. It seems like this is a somewhat new feature and uh, you know, they gotta fix a few things. So always click open in browser. So as you've seen, it's not perfect, but it has a lot of potential and it keeps all of the sources that you've added already into a My Research tab that keeps things more organized. Okay, the one thing that I'm actually not the biggest fan of in OneNote is that it's kind of like the wild, wild west, which is great because there's a lot of flexibility. You can add in pictures, text, anything. Um, but if you can see, once you start adding in a lot of things, it kind of, you know, it's very easy to have small text, big handwriting, some things will go in over here. And when you want to add a new text box, you can really add it anywhere. So there's really no method to the madness. And I found myself uh, to just be creating text boxes left and right, because the moment you click, just one click, that's all it takes, it creates a new text box. So a lot of times I'll do that, what I just did of, oh, I'm typing, typing, and I just wanna get out of that text box, but by doing that and clicking off, I create another text box. It's great because look, you can zoom out. It kind of resembles Illustrator in that way where you can just infinitely zoom out. Look at that. And then you can put something over here, but it's not really what I'm used to with some of the notes that are just very like straight down. You only have this much width to work with. There's a lot of cool things going on here with text and like AI stuff and reading things. And I don't know how they're doing it, but if you import a picture, a screenshot of something and you right click it, say copy text from picture, it'll literally take text from that screenshot and put it into text form. Now it, as you can see, miserably failed with my terrible handwriting, but I think that's a little understandable, um, but it did wonderfully with the formatting. Look, it even got the formatting right with interjection to ionic and covalent bonding. And then it had the one, three types of chemical bonding, one ionic bonding. It's just, it's smart. It's very smart. However, it does take 10 minutes upon importing into a picture. When I was trying this, I was right clicking. I couldn't find it. I was like, what's going on? But you gotta give it time to think. It's going through a lot of its machine learning stuff, right? Amazing. So here's another one where I did it on Twitter. Twitter. I just sounded like my mom. What's Twitter? Just kidding. She's lit on Twitter. Jeannie is like, she understands Twitter. She just made a meme about Baby Yoda. She's on fire, guys. Okay, it did pretty well. It got every single exclamation point right, just to the T. Students, you're always taking pictures of the whiteboard or a friend's homework. You could put it into here and translate it to text. So basically you just do copy text from picture, paste it, and boom. I mean, this stuff is crazy. It's kind of mind blowing if you haven't liked 
this video. If you haven't smashed that subscribe button yet for new videos every single week, I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing because we're gonna keep going. Let's keep going, guys. Immersive reader. I mean, OneNote is just doing your work for you. It reads it out to you. Press play. Introduction to Ionic and Covalent Bonding One. Oh, I have it on like two times speed. Sir Winston Leonard Spencer Churchill was a British politician army officer and writer. Mm, so cool. I mean, this stuff is so cool. I, not even to mention the accessibility that this offers to people um, who might not be able to hear or read or write. There's just so many ways to consume information. Something that I use in Notability all the time was recording audio. So I would record the lectures and you can do that here. You can record audio. So I'm recording audio right now. Hey kids, stay in school. Engineering, engineering, engineering. See, here we go again with, like, why did this not travel with this? Just some of the formatting is really strange and you see what's happening? What is happening right now? That's the only thing that I don't like is just like sometimes things don't do what they should do. Here you can record audio. So I'm recording audio right now. It's okay, yeah, it'll do, it'll do. It'll do donkey. Because I'm taking notes in many different areas of my life, but I need to link to maybe a YouTube note in my podcast notes. So, okay, Sarah Solo, YouTube podcast. I'm gonna talk about so many things, but let's say I wanna reference the new Filmic app that I just made a video about. I can say, copy link to page, and then I'm gonna go to podcasts, and then just press paste and then I'll put other notes that I'm gonna talk about. So this allows me to basically just click this and I'll automatically go to this other note. So you can link notes within notes. You can do speech to text. So just press Windows key, H, initializing. Oh, it's already starting. Hi Cortana, how are you doing? I'm just going to talk to you right now because I'm filming a video and I really don't need these notes. Initializing. Oh, it's already starting. Hi, Cortana. How are you doing? I'm just going to talk to you right now because I'm filming a video and I really don't need these notes. It got every single word right. So I know OneNote has actually been out for a while, but they keep iterating and adding such cool features. And I don't know why my sphere of the internet, the kind of tech circle doesn't talk about it a lot, maybe because most people use Apple devices, but that's what makes this great, is it's probably the best multi-platform in between Mac OS and Windows device note-taking app that I've actually seen. So yes, a lot of the fancy features that will probably help more students come along with that $6.99 per month subscription. However, there's so many cool integrations that you can put into OneNote. Uh, there's this thing called OneTastic where it's a plugin actually from Microsoft that turns your OneNotes into a combination of like all of their office products like Word and then you can incorporate Calendar in there and it just gets so crazy so quick. You can also incorporate IFT, the if that then this thing uh, and connect it to other things. It's a very internet of things thing that incorporates a lot of things on the internet. And one thing I'm already using is a Chrome extension called One Clipper, where I take a screenshot and it automatically puts it into a note. So location, quick notes, clip and boom, clipped from Twitter and there it is. I mean, at this point, I'm kind of overwhelmed by how crazy this app is. So listen, I hope you learned a little bit. I hope you learned that two-in-ones are actually pretty exciting and probably a good middle ground for students out there. Um, listen, they can get pretty expensive pretty quick in the $1,500 range, but that's only if you need a computer to also do some content creation on. You wanna run Premiere and Lightroom, these desktop apps on top of note-taking on top of scrolling the web, but if you only need it for note-taking, scrolling the web, you like having a full keyboard um, and all of this functionality, you can drop down to an i5, less RAM, um, and it gets to more around $500, $700. I have an entire video about me comparing the most recent two-on-ones and the ones that I really thoroughly enjoy. Why am I so obsessed with two-on-ones right now? I'm losing you guys, aren't I? I think I am. Basically, I just underestimated the two-on-one and I think powerful apps like OneNote. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta look cool.
And the powerful apps like OneNote is what makes it really a great experience because up until this point, I haven't had a note-taking app where I could draw with a pen on an iPad, on a two-in-one, on my phone, all the things I'm gonna stop talking now. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to check out Warby Parker, warbyparker.com slash saradici, because not only are they super stylish frames at an affordable price, they also do a lot of good. For every frame that you purchase, they give a frame to a person in need, which is amazing. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you like this video. Hit that subscribe button down below for new videos every single week. Check out my podcast, That Creative Life. And until next time, guys, stay peachy. Stay peachy. Okay, bye. Okay, bye.